Will Robinson here from Robinson's Auto Tools and Time.com. Welcome back. Today in the shop, we have this 2003 GMC Sierra. It's got the 5.3 V8. No oil pressure shown on the dash. Let me show you what it's doing. Oil pressure goes up. Drops down to zero. Every once in a while, she'll come back up and drop back off. All right, guys, I'm gonna just gonna jump right back there. This is one of those jobs where I don't mind firing the parts cannon at it because it's so common on these older GMs that the pressure switch in the back, it's like a little sender, goes bad, goes out on them. And a lot of times they read high, sometimes they read low. Nine times out of 10, it's the pressure switch. We're gonna gain some access to it. We're gonna start by taking this top cover off. At an eight millimeter. Container here. Lift this up, pull it out of the way. Now, of course, I'll I'll look closely and make sure I'm not missing something silly, like a broken wire or anything of that manner. But the fact that it's still working a little bit tells me it's a pretty common problem. Where we have to go is down in that hole. I'll give you a shot. Gonna make our way up. All right, the switch we're after. Resides right down there. You can actually see the top of the wire. Wrap right, 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 my hand around right here. That's what we're gonna have to unplug. Pull it up now. I'll show you where I went down with my hand. Right over there. Not the easiest task. One in one sixteenth seems to be the culprit. Fits well. This this socket is a thin wall. Impact sockets tend to not fit, if I remember correctly. This one should fit down in there. This one should I remember right. Should fit on there. Sometimes if your socket's a little big, you gotta unplug the other sensor alongside it. Give that a shot. Sometimes that'll give you just enough room. All right, after unplugging the other sensor, I was able to get the socket on there. Now let's see if we can break it loose. Hopefully. Okay. Yeah. Not sure where she fell to, but we'll find it. These things a lot of times are made out of aluminum, so you can't can't quite get them with a regular thing. So I think that's it. Okay. Oh no! Not Like playing one of them claw machine games. Woo! Woo! Woohoo! All right, to put it in. I'm gonna try to come around the back. Same way I unplugged it. Uh, because it's. not the easiest to get on. Try to get it started square. It has a gasket on it, and it has the ring, the cr crust, crust ring, ceiling ring, I guess you'd call it. Come on, baby. Come on. It's hard on these angles because you lose track of what is straight. I just wanted to show you from here how I'm getting to it, just in case.
don't want to over tighten it. That's good. I'll come down here, find the plug that we unplug. We'll plug this guy in so we don't forget. And then we'll see where this one ends up. Feels like it's gonna be right about right about here. Here you go. Heard it click. Broke a sweat on that one. But pretty much this is where I went down with the socket. Did the reach around from the other side. Um, like I said, these are aluminum, so magnet wouldn't help. I'm gonna leave the cover off for now. Um, just start it up and make sure everything's good. Make sure we have no leaks. All right, new switch is in. Voila. You can see the oil pressure responds now when I give it gas. starting it up I don't see any new oil any wet oil per se just a little bit that might have dripped when we took it out put our cover back on like so down I changed the oil on this as well what I'm gonna do is check it Started it, should be good. Okay, perfect. All right. All right, guys, I'm going to call that one a fix. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, ring that bell to be notified of future videos. Until next time, stay tuned.